Okay, this is how to read off your check engine light codes on a 6th gen Accord. I've got a 98 Accord. Uh, I don't know if it works on any other car. Well, the first thing we're going to do is, you see how I got to that? This is right above the hood, re uh, hood release. It's the diagnostic connector. Mine is not clipped in because I've done this before, so I'm just going to pull it down here. And what you're looking for is that this brown wire at the very bottom of the connector and the black one that's closest to that you're going to short those out um, we're going to use our high-end um, diagnostic tool which is the paper clip for this one and just focus you in right now okay now i'm just going to do this from the back because it's easier I'm going to put it in the brown and then and then the black like that. Just be careful not to damage your connector. Now I don't, you can see, yeah, you can see how it's in the uh, in the pins right there. I'll bring you in. Okay, so now you're looking at where that paper clip needs to go. It took me a while to figure that out, so I'll make it real clear. Um, I'm gonna come up here and uh, just gonna take a look at the take a look at the check engine light. I'm gonna turn the car to on, and you count out the long blinks followed by the short blinks. So that's two, three, and once you count out the blinks, you need to look at the list and look at what your code is. And so it just blinked out my first code. Now what you can do is, it's got more than one code, now it's going to start blinking the second one. Okay, so looks like I only had one code because it's blinking the same one over and over. So... Now, I've got this handy list that I stole from a 6th Gen Accord. I made it into a nice PDF that I'm going to post up for download. And I'm going to look it up. It looks like my code, 9 long blinks followed by 0 short blinks. It's going to be an EVAP emission control system leak. So that's how you look up a code. And then after that, you just turn the car off, pull out your high-end diagnostic device, put the diagnostic connector back, and you're set.